Irene Riolette Jackson Brown better known as Rebby is an American singer and the eldest child of the Jackson family. She began her career with her siblings during shows in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in 1974, before subsequently appearing in the television series The Jacksons. At age 34, Rebby released her debut album Centipede in 1984. The album featured songs written by Smokey Robinson, Prince, and Rebby's younger brother Michael, whose contribution, the title track, Centipede, became Rebby's most successful single release. By the end of the 1980s, the singer had released two more albums in quick succession, Reaction, 1986, and Are You Tough Enough, 1988. Following a seven-year hiatus in her musical career, Rebby returned with a cover of Forever Young for the Free Willy 2, the adventure home soundtrack before the release of the 1998 album Yours Faithfully three years later. The production of the album, Her Last to Date, was a collaboration with artists and producers such as Men of Vision Spanky Williams, Keith Thomas, and Elliot Kennedy. It also featured contributions from her children. In 2011, Rebby embarked on the Pick Up the Phone tour, which was dedicated to teens from all over the U.S. who have committed suicide. Rebby Jackson's net worth is estimated at $2.5 million. She has earned her money from singing and album sales. Rebby received an award for Best Home Video in 1984 at the third annual American Video Awards. The award was won by the documentary The Making of Michael Jackson Thriller. Early Life Rebby was born on May 29, 1950, at 2300 Jackson Street in Gary, Indiana to a working-class family on May 29, 1950. She is the first daughter of Joseph Walter Joe and Catherine Esther. She is the eldest of their ten children. Joseph was a steel mill employee who often performed in a rhythm and blues R &B, band called the Falcons with his brother, Luther. Catherine is a Jehovah's Witness and raised her children to follow the religion. Rebbe, Latoya, and Michael became the most devout of the children as time progressed. Reflecting on her early life, Rebbe acknowledged in a 1980s magazine interview that her role within the family had been that of a second mother to her younger siblings, whom she would often babysit, along with her eldest brother Jackie. She graduated from Theodore Roosevelt High School in Gary in 1968. Personal Life The 18-year-old Rebbe's announcement that she wanted to marry her childhood love Nathaniel Brown in November 1968 created division in the Jackson family. Rebbe expressed her feelings for the man and proclaimed that she wanted to move with him to Kentucky. Catherine encouraged her daughter to proceed, feeling that being a wife and mother were important roles for all of her daughters. But Joseph opposed the marriage, he wanted Rebbe to follow in her brother's footsteps and become a singer and felt that marriage life would stop her from becoming a success in the entertainment business. Rebbe had taken clarinet, piano, and dance lessons in her childhood, but had no interest in a music career, even though, according to Germain, she had won several singing contests duetting with Jackie. She thought a happy home was more comforting and secure than the instability of show business. Arguments ensued for several weeks before her father relented and allowed Rebbe to marry Brown, but he refused to walk her down the aisle. Rebbe and Brown had three children. Stacy Brown, born May 5, 1971. Yasi Brown, born October 5, 1977. Austin Brown, born November 22, 1985. Nathaniel Brown died of cancer on January 6, 2013. Career Rebbe began her singing career in 1974, performing with her siblings in Las Vegas. The Vegas shows had initially begun in April, without Rebbe. Due to a sprained ankle, Rebbe's debut was postponed until June. When the Jackson Five parted with their record label Motown in 1976, they signed to CBS Records and rebranded themselves the Jacksons. Additionally, the brothers were signed to CBS TV to star with their family in a variety series called The Jacksons. The show premiered in June 1976 and featured all of the siblings excluding Germain, who had chosen to stay with Motown. The initial series run of the 30-minute programs was four weeks. Due to rating success, more episodes were ordered in January 1977. Rebbe served as a backing vocalist for several musicians, as well as a cabaret singer. She contributed her voice to songs by such artists as The Emotions, Sonny Bono, and Betty Wright before her second pregnancy. 
Following years of preparation, Rebbe's debut album Centipede was released in October 1984 by Columbia Records, which had signed her as a solo artist two years previously. Centipede became a moderate chart success, reaching number 13 on Billboard's Top R&B Slash Hip Hop Albums chart and number 63 on its Top 200. The most successful song from the album was the million-selling title track, Centipede. Written, arranged, and produced by Michael, the song also featured Jackson's famous brother and the Weather Girls on backing vocals. It reached number 4 on the Black Singles chart and was subsequently certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. Other tracks from Rebbe's album included cover versions of songs by Prince, I Feel For You, and Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, A Fork in the Road. Reaction served as the follow-up album to Centipede and was released in October 1986. It was recorded at Tito's Ponderosa Studios in Los Angeles, California. Tito produced Reaction along with David Conley and David Townsend of the R&B group Surface. Duets were featured on the album, including one with Cheap Trick lead singer Robin Zander, and another with Isaac Hayes. The Xander Jackson collaboration, You Send the Rain Away, was released as a single and peaked at number 50 on the R&B singles chart. Rebby's duet with Hayes, the ballad, Tonight I'm Yours, was not released as a single, though received substantial airplay. Reaction's title track, Reaction, was the most popular hit from the album, reaching number 16 on the R&B singles chart. The album Are You Tough Enough succeeded Reaction upon its release in July 1988. Jackson was more involved with the production of this album than she had been in her previous releases. Two singles were released from the album and charted on the R&B singles chart, Plaything, which made it into the top 10, and the title track, Are You Tough Enough, which peaked at number 78. By mid-June 1988, Are You Tough Enough had reportedly sold 300,000 copies. Rebby lent her vocals to 2300 Jackson Street before taking a hiatus from releasing music. Following a seven-year break, Rebby returned with a cover of Bob Dylan's Forever Young for the 1995 film Free Willy 2, The Adventure Home. She was later signed to her brother Michael's record label MJJ Music and the first album in 10 years, Yours Faithfully, was released on March 31, 1998. It featured a remixed version of Rebby's successful Centipede. Initially, the singer had not wanted to feature the track, believing that it was part of the past. After thinking about it for a while, Rebby felt that the inclusion of the remix, which features a rap by Sun Austin, would be a good way to return to the music scene. In addition, her two other children, Stacy and Yasi, contributed backing vocals for the album. Other tracks from the album included Fly Away, which was written and produced by brother Michael, who also served as co-executive producer for Yours Faithfully. Fellow producers included Keith Thomas and Elliot Kennedy. The album also featured a duet with Men of Vision Spanky Williams on the spinners I Don't Want to Lose You, which Jet described as being a sizzling rendition. Yours Faithfully's title track was released as a single and peaked at number 78 on the R&B chart. In early 2011, Rebby announced she'd begun recording tracks for a new album, her first in 14 years. She also performed throughout the U.S. with a set list containing her best-known songs, some of her brother's songs, and some Motown classics. It was speculated by media sources that Rebby would be the primary caregiver for her late brother's children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket. It was stated that even if Michael and Rebby's mother Catherine were granted custody of the children, Rebby would care for the siblings on a day-to-day -day basis at the Jackson family's Encino home. Catherine was named their legal guardian in August 2009. Other Ventures Rebby is well-renowned for her charitable work, she has contributed significantly to organizations that support autism research and autism awareness campaigns. Rebby has long supported Autism Speaks, a group devoted to raising public awareness and advocating on behalf of people with autism. She has also taken part in multiple Autism Speaks walk events and helped raise money for the charity. Rebby has participated in other humanitarian endeavors. She has contributed to charities like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the American Heart Association, and the American Cancer Society. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, subscribe and click on the bell notification.